Welcome back, my friends. Now, we have a situation going on. I'm doing this as a live stream uh, from my YouTube channel. Uh, those of you that get the notifications, uh, feel free to join in. But we have just had, literally in the last 20 minutes, a massive, massive meteor sighting in New York and surrounding areas. Now, this is all within um, Eastern Standard Time right now. How you doing, Auburn's Films? Good to see you, buddy. Um, so 32620. Now remember this this is Eastern Standard Time. You got to move over here to 327. Check this out. There was a massive meteor event obviously on the northeast coast. PA, New York, uh MI would be uh Minnesota, I would assume, but the the trending thing here is the upper east coast and I was actually just finishing looking at an event that took place in Texas. On the 26th, uh, we had five pretty well-known um, meteor meteorite researchers. Uh, you could base their, uh, what are they called, their credentials based on this website on this part of the map here. Number three is pretty good. I see her name here often. Basically, these are people you can rely on for correct info. It's not easy to fill out these forms, so it takes time. So these people obviously saw something and they wanted to make it known. There's verification processes in this website, so it's very hard to get people to fake things on here, but no joke, guys. When I hit refresh, I just want you to look from this portion right here down, and we just had one in Kentucky, so th there might be a meteor event going on. I'm pretty sure there is a shower going on, but to see this, it's pretty interesting. Uh, so we have Ohio, Ohio, New York. Um, am I? Am, oh, my God. Am I going to say Michigan and mess this up, or am I going to say Missouri? Being a weather guy, that's embarrassing. But, you know, I'm excited right now because this is not something you see every day when you get 50 reports within a, how long was it? Look at the times, guys. We're all within this hour um, when this was reported. And if not, it's just one day behind. So if not, this was 24 hours ago. I'm searching all the radars I can to try to catch this thing. And in fact, I found a loop of a possible meteor which lines up with the Texas deal. Now, I want you to watch the first frame of this, and you're going to see a line shoot right across the sky here. It's one frame. Boom, right there. Very hard to see. I tried bringing it into my editing, um, which I'm going to call it, you know, software. Um, still working on my live voice, guys, so bear with me here. 12 likes. Thank you, guys. 80 people in here. You have no idea what that means to us, guys. Um so you're seeing what I'm seeing right now. We're kind of working this out together. So if you notice this dotted line here, it's one frame long. I know these GIF files can be sketchy. They're hard to follow. It's frame by frame. It's not as smooth as a movie. But when you see straight lines, that's usually the frequencies coming out of whatever radar is trying to detect that weather. So we'll see the straight unbroken lines. When you see these straight lines, when they're broken up and you got a little dot in front of one and a dot behind of it, sometimes you can say that's an airplane, but when you're looking from this far up in the sky, guys, you're not going to see airplanes flying around. You're going to see something that's in the upper atmosphere getting picked up by the satellite radars or however this is read in the sky. Um, and you can see it ends right here. It's not like a, a frame crop where it comes all the way across Florida. It was literally one frame it caught, and that's the ending area was right about here. If you notice, it doesn't come across this way. But then, as a coincidence, we had a massive sighting in Texas shortly after that. So I'm just trying to put some data together and uh, keep you guys aware that the things going on in the sky are not... Um, Coming to an end anytime soon. Even the big channels, uh, you know, Mr. MBB333, great channel. Um, he's been posting a lot of sky activity. I posted this video where I caught some strange light just sliding across the sky for three straight minutes. It's certainly not an airplane, nothing of that sort, traveling way too fast. I'm zoomed in with a 250 millimeter lens. All right, let me see some of these comments, guys. Sorry, I feel like I'm ignoring you. Round Rock, Texas, and I want to go outside. Yeah. How is it in Texas, by the way, right now? Because some of this weather is literally just, it's sitting right over Texas, over North Texas, and then destroying Oklahoma, and then right up into the Central Plains once again. Looks like a bomb went off in the middle of the country with this storm. 
Actually, let me give you guys some motion here. Sorry about that. Let me just hit play so you guys can see what's going on uh, weather-wise. I know I'm going off topic here with the meteor, but uh, very interesting stuff, guys. You may start seeing some talk about that because that's not something you see every day. When uh, Once again, I'll show you this line. Again, very hard to see because as this cuts off, it's going to disappear. I took a record of it. I have a full edit of it. I have it saved and everything. So, uh, But that is a – it just looks like that classic meteor shape. And with the uptick in meteors and meteorites even, meteorites is when they actually reach the ground. Uh, they are meteors until then. And then once they – before they enter the atmosphere, they're asteroids, comets, you name it. So – there are things up there, guys, and we just had one the size of a bus uh, surprise us recently. So uh, let's see. What else we got here? Let's just play around while I got you on here. Like I said, these are all the reports within, oh, my God, the last couple minutes, and they're all in the Northeast. So I want you guys, anyone out there that likes to research this stuff, let's check out the Northeast and see what went on up there. Uh, here's our current earthquakes. It looked a lot different yesterday, guys. In fact, I almost jumped on for a few of these quakes that are going on in the uh, Northwest Pacific here, especially near Japan and Russia. This one was technically considered Russia. 6.1, very big, very shallow quake to be out in the water. Very dangerous, guys, because that will directly affect the United States if that big one comes or if multiple big ones come. And that's another idea that I've been thinking through. Dominique Shelley, welcome. Glad to see you here. True helper, always glad to see you, my friend. I'm catching you guys as I can, guys. I'm looking at my computer screen while my phone's live streaming. So, um, But yeah, guys, this ring of fire. I mean, for those of you following my channel, we all know that this is not uh, a normal thing going on. Yes, we see earthquakes and volcanoes all day, every day along this stuff, but not as frequent. And we're getting stuff in spots like this that are not as common as you may think. You see the fault line which may lead you to believe that, yeah, oh yeah, there'll be big earthquakes there, earthquakes here, earthquakes here. That doesn't always mean that there's a lot of action in these areas. And then when you start seeing them, you know, we get these big ones on this side of the Western Pacific. They start riding through here and you get into uh, Italy and stuff like that. And then you get over the top of uh, Africa. That's when it gets dangerous. You got the North American Ridge here, and that puts the East Coast just as much at risk as the West Coast when it comes to these earthquakes here. So over the last couple of weeks, I've seen some big ones here. Again, I am no earthquake expert, guys. I go by data. I go by patterns, cycles. That's how I work. So And cycles prove everything, and I honestly truly believe that the Earth is going through a cycle that we as a human species have just not experienced yet. We're not old enough. Like we have our four seasons that we're used to because it only takes a year to get through them. So yeah, we're here 70, 80 years. We go through 70, 80 rounds of those four seasons. It becomes normal in our minds, but we also got to think long-term. We have not been here a fraction of the time the earth has been. So there are cycles of weather on this on this earth that we have not seen and we will never see. Our grand grand grandkids will never see some of these cycles. So earth changes no matter what effect we have on it in my opinion. I mean, yes, we can do damage, but you know, with that said, I just went on a ramble. That was was that one of my first rambles live at least? Probably. Um, I'm not sure about a hit. I don't know if this is a meteorite, if it struck the ground. Again, I'm I'm on here live because I just saw this. So as of right now, I'm calling it a meteor, only because meteors are um, the rocks that burn up in the sky before they hit the ground. Once they hit the ground, then they become meteorites. Those are what you can physically pick up and touch and see and, you know, that type of thing. A meteor is just flying through the sky, you know, your typical shooting star, or you get good ones. I think we're actually in the middle of a meteor shower, so from heaven, hey there. Oh, okay, you guys are talking to each other. Good. I like that. I like when you guys figure things out and communicate. Check this out, by the way, guys. As far as those of you that live in the Central Plains, lightning nonstop. Got some spots in Texas getting hit with some storms, but the Central Plains, it's like we're going to have a great lake right in the middle of the country, um, according to what the Weather Channel has been telling us. I know I haven't been on much for weather, guys. It's been, I've had a lot, a lot of busy weeks uh, the past couple of weeks, so I'm getting on as much as possible. 
Um, that video I posted trying to get a good shot of the moon ended up getting some weird light in the sky. You know, I can't pass that stuff up. I love it. I love it. I'm always looking up. So, all right. What do we got for the comments here? Planetary cycles. Yes, uh, Dominique. Very true. Very, very true. Ronald, what's up, buddy? Claudette, how are you? Oh my God, Claudette, me too. I like it, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes it's hard for me to even jump on here and talk about it because, I mean, it is what it is. It's just people completely displaced from their homes, having to move to places when they don't have the money, they don't have the the resources, and it just doesn't stop. And that's, you know, it just, you lose hope. A lot of people lose hope and they just give up and it's sad to see. And it, you know, I'm, I'll be the first to admit I'm an emotional person. Like I feel bad for everybody that goes through a bad situation. You know, I'm, I'm a mama's boy, always will be. But, um, yeah, when I see stuff like this, guys, sometimes I get deterred from even reporting on it because it's like, yeah, I want to let people know what's going on, but the people that live in that area, they already know what's going on. You know what I mean? They, they're they living it right now. And all I can do is think about them and, you know, talk with you guys, see, you know, any of you that live in that surrounding area, you know, give updates, like real updates, like not what the news says to us, not that they're wrong. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not, blah, blah, blah. You know, that's a whole nother conversation. But I love getting firsthand information from people that are on the ground in that area. And uh, in time, I want to be that person. I want to be able to get in my car or my truck or whatever and go to these places and show you what's going on. And uh, that's the next step um, I'm going to take this channel is uh, rather than just showing you weather charts all day, which, you know, anyone that learns weather can do, um, you know, I want to get out there and start showing you guys stuff in real life um, and then compare it to this stuff. And then we get an even better idea of how to understand these things so we don't have to rely on other people. You want to have these skill sets, just like learning your ABCs, you know? You don't want to have to be taught that when you're 30 years old. So uh, what else do we got? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We went through earthquakes. We talked about the fireballs. All right. So I think we're going to wrap up the live stream. Uh, basically, I just wanted to talk to you guys and see if anyone wants to get some information about this New York deal. Uh, what went on in Texas on the 26th? We had a pretty significant fireball in the sky. Uh, so I guess I'm on a sky, uh, a sky watching uh, routine these days. So uh, bear with me with the weather lovers out there. I, mean, I will be getting your weather out to you. Um, but like I said, it's just, you know, there's not much more to talk about in the planes. It's just like we got to wait for an end and uh, and then decide if this is or not decide, determine whether or not this is going to be a new norm for us. This may be one of those cycles that we are um, finally seeing. And if this happens next year, guys, then. You know, it's just more evidence to uh, what's going to happen. So basically, we got coastal people being displaced. We got the center of the country being displaced. You know, where else do you go? It's getting, you know, a little concerning to me. Uh, Bone Stone, thank you for being here, my buddy. Uh, have a good night yourself, okay? Thank you guys for the likes. I really appreciate it. We are here on uh, Mike's weather page, which is the actual creator of this. Very good guy. He provides a very good service to us for all these uh, charts we use on a daily basis here. All consolidated, nice and easy. Um, there are still good charts out there, not on this channel, but this guy, he's on it every day, 24-7. So thank you, Sarah. Appreciate that a lot. Raymond. I appreciate it, man. I wish I'd been updating you guys um, a lot more often. I know I took a little hiatus there and I feel bad because I don't warn you guys before I do it because these things just come up and um, traveling a lot. I, I, I bounce. We have a long trip to work. So, you know, we get three days off, four days of work, three days. First day we rest. Next two days is when I try to get on here, get this stuff all done. But um. I try to keep things to one subject just so we can like keep our minds on one thing at a time. I do like doing update videos where I go over a lot of stuff at once, you know, almost like a, you know, uh, you know, news at 11 type thing where I go over a bunch of stuff, but I also like to really dig into stuff. And that's why I'm asking for your help now to see if we can find out about these, um, 
these uh, possible meteors going on in the Northeast. And then, like I said, the guy, the one we were just looking at, guys, this one, this is certainly near Florida. So I wouldn't expect to see some American Meteor Society posts about Florida seeing something. And then again, like I said, it runs right into Texas. So Ontario, Canada, I love you too. Trust me. In fact, my first trip when I was born was uh, Niagara Falls. And then we were right in Canada. So that was my first out of country trip. I think I was six months old. No problem, MJ. Hi, Bonnie. I'm right where you are. Oh, trust me. Type X, she loves her hellos, guys. She loves hearing from you guys. She loves talking with all of you. She's going to have her own channel, too. She's going to be doing... Um, she's a uh, professional esthetician, so she does uh, uh, tattoo removal, uh, facial stuff. Um, I know the girls will know a lot more about that, so we're setting her up with a channel uh, so she can practice that stuff, and um, we're going to have a combined channel, actually, with our together stuff so you know lots of fun we have we have a lot of plans that we want to uh, accomplish especially this year dobby that's what this video is about buddy i'm on here talking about that right now that's what i'm looking for is information about what's going on in that area that's the northeast i used i lived i spent six years in long island i ran a uh, a bar in montauk called memory motel so um, I, I'm, I'm all about um, Long Island. In fact, I have uh, family ties to a town in uh, Long Island that, you know, goes down to this guy called Bull Rider Smith. I don't know if you guys ever heard of him. Thank you so much, Jamie. Really means a lot reading those things. Yeah, I don't like this at all. This is not good here, guys. Thank you, Sarah Smiles. True helper, your feed as in uh, you're getting notifications. That's another thing, guys. You guys getting notifications when I'm posting videos? Have you been seeing them lately? I think I, I fixed a, uh, an issue with that. Caroline loves you guys right back, as do I. You guys all know that. Wonderful, true. It's working. The Google algorithms are working for some of us. <laughs> yes. I, I'm deciding on the super chat. I mean, yeah, it sounds fun. It sounds like it's, you know, it's cool, you know, we'll, and, but uh, super chat, I'm going to have to go live from my laptop. So, uh, I can still do that, obviously, but I, I don't know. I just, uh, I'm, a, I'm a weird person when it comes to uh, putting that stuff out there. It, it makes it seem like I'm like looking for money and, you know, obviously we all need money, but I, you, you'll never hear me asking. It's not, you know, I have the links up there, but that's about it. Yeah, I'm having fun with this update. I, I, I want to do more of these. You know, it's like a situational thing. Like, you know, I'll be, I'll be sitting here doing some research and, you know, I get this boost of motivation. I'm like, hey, let's just go live with these people. Let's just do it. Let's just talk and have a good time. See what's up. Look at things together. Maybe I'll change the screen for you guys for once. You're not staring at the same thing. MJ, have a great night. Thank you for being here. Seriously, really appreciate it. Indiana. Okay, so how are you guys doing in Indiana right now? Because the last frame right here, number 200, shows most of our action uh, right in the belly button here, which is where it's been going. And if you guys remember, we've been calling this area Ground Zero because uh, um, as a little recap, we usually get systems coming up from Baja over uh, Mexico through Texas. Then we get that downswing from Canada and Alaska and then ba-boom. Everything explodes right here in this area, and that is the Central Plains. <laughs> Hello, Darlene. How are you? Solvis, what's up, buddy? My favorite critiquer is here. How far up north, Karen?
Minnesota. Yeah, besides the uh, negative 60-degree temperatures you guys got this year, are you getting a little bit of a break for once? Tennessee, Karen, cool. Michigan, all right. Good to see some Michigan people because uh, you got some stuff heading your way. Oh, wait, let me scroll back down. Someone said something about the Super Chap. Raymond, here, let me read this real quick. Super Chap is voluntary. You may not ask, but we may want to help you continue to inform us. We would do it because we love you, buddy. Hey, you know what? And that's that's great. I That's absolutely worded perfectly. It's still a free country in my eyes. You guys do as you please. Within reason, obviously. Maryland, Chesapeake. Oh, you I, you must love that area because there's no answers here. You can never get a correct forecast when it comes to the Chesapeake Bay, New Jersey, Long Island, Connecticut, Massachusetts. It is never, ever, ever correct. It's either yes or no, one or the other, because this area is just so unique. And again, just to the east of the uh, Great Lakes, a very unique area, Watertown, Buffalo, um, some of the more new, uh, unique areas in the world, actually, as far as how weather affects those areas with lake effect. Not many places in the world have lakes of this size that actually change the weather. Um, that's more of a winter deal, though. So, and um, where are we? We're starting to move into cyclone season down by New Zealand and Australia. Sorry, let me switch the screen again before I start losing you guys. Let's find a new screen. How about we just look at Google Earth for a little bit? So, yeah. So, right now, guys, we got cyclones going on in these areas a little bit more so in this. But you got to remember, it kind of makes a wrap around the ocean. We get our season in here. Then we get a separate season down in this area, which we've been seeing, actually. We've been seeing some storms here. Ooh, that's really bright. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to exit this screen. But uh, yeah, basically, it's a, it's a cycle um, as far as the hurricane season goes. And then eventually, yes, it will be the Atlantic hurricane season. But first, we're going to see a lot of Pacific stuff like we did last year. So basically, March, April, May, uh, you're going to see a lot here. Then June, July, August, September, we're going to be moving right back here. And uh, that's the ex exciting time. So uh, yeah, let me take this white ball off the screen. And um, I think we're good, guys. Uh, cyclone season has been really active. Yes, you're you're, you're right about that, Solus. Yeah, man. He, I mean, he has the time. He can sit there all day and just make videos. I wish, yeah. I wish I had the the time to actually sit and do videos all day. That'd be great. Live meteors. Yes, I've actually streamed that channel um, a bunch of times. I have some. Uh, backed up files from uh, 2017 where I caught like a 10 minute uh, pulse. Like it, it, the, the pulse did not stop for 10 minutes. That annoying beeping high pitch noise for 10 straight minutes. So I've, I've caught some pretty cool things on there too. I may re-upload some of those because uh, I, I noticed they've been going live a lot lately too. Live meteors. You can see them at livemeteors.com too. Where are you at, Captain Pat? Lightning's not changing. Every time you see those circles, that's a live strike. So that these are storms going on right now, right in the belly, the belly of the country. Fort Worth. Wait, let me scroll down and read that one again. It sounded funny. Dudes here can't figure out if we're getting any storms in the next two days before this cold front comes in. Are we going to get anything like we had next week with hail? You know what? These hail situations, they are um, they have a mind of their own. So there's a website. Uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. Let's just jump on, and then I'll, uh, I'll let you guys go. Um, it's a percentage website where it kind of gives you a percentage of when to expect hail, when to expect uh, uh, tornado threats or this or that. It's a very simple chart. It goes in by, you know, single point percentages. It doesn't give you any s crazy detail. And I don't know why I can't find it right now. Probably because I'm secretly nervous talking to you guys live and I can't think straight, but we'll find it. We'll find it. 
where the forecast meets the sea on the Central Oregon coast. TIA, this is Africa. I just blood diamond this morning. Well, I can't say this morning. That was actually early this afternoon. My sleep schedule is uh, 4, 5 a.m. Sleep till 2, 3 p.m. Work night shift. <laughs> All right, guys. I don't know. My mind's drawing a blank right now. I can't find this this one chart I was trying to show you. Do I have it pulled up? No, I don't think I do. Fireballs, earthquakes, Texas meteors, YouTube. Ay caramba. All right, well, basically, long story short is this website, it just, you you hover your mouse over the area and it gives you, basically, it's saying 5% chance hail, okay? But I just got a report from uh, areas that got hit with this storm where they had golf ball-sized hail, so... A lot of these charts, I'm starting to beginning, uh, you know, I'm, I'm starting to not trust. Um, I'm basically going on what I see on a live Doppler radar, seeing how things mix together. That's what I mean by detail work, how I want to focus on one topic at a time as opposed to going over multiple topics. You know, don't get me wrong. I love doing this. This is great. Long videos. We talk about a lot of stuff. We get to all touch base and, you know, you know, do what we want to do. But, you know, when I make my recording videos off the laptop, yeah, I like to keep them nice and short to the point. Back in the day, I would repeat myself 50 times and then I would listen to it and be like, oh my God, I couldn't even listen to myself talk. But we get better with practice, right? That's what they say. All right, one more look. Hell is scary as heck. Mother Nature's ice missiles. Yes, you could not be more true about that. Where at, Tina? Oh, the weather, boss. March isn't over. I know. We still got a, a couple more days, but we remember last March, right? When we had four nor'easters, like massive snowstorm nor'easters. So we got to count our blessings. I almost got sunburned today compared to last year at this time. I was shoveling snow. Nah, Amy, I'm over. I'm over the nervous thing. It's it's just a uh, situational. I would more call it. I used to go back. Oh man, I used, I would film. A, I would uh, record a video. You know, do all this hard work, and I would you know do my narration, and I would hiccup on one word, and I would just hit stop and do it all over again. And now I'm just like. I'll laugh at myself, and then you guys make fun of me in the comments about how I mispronounced your town's name, and then we joke about it, we have a good time, and then I learn the town name, and we all win. No, selfish, I, I mean, you could, be, you, it's hard to predict hail at all, that's why it's it's weird to me, to, oh, and by the way, here's the chart, unbelievable, second selfish puts that comment in, I find the chart, so anyway, this is how it works, so you got... Is this even the chart? It's not. Ay, caramba. So basically, they're showing you the uh, potential threat, the, the most severe threat for this round of storms. Categorical, you can see that big green area. Basically, they're just covering their tracks with that. That's ridiculous. I mean, the storm is going to wibble wobble in, in ground zero area. Yes, this area will be certainly on watch, and that is where I saw the 5% hail and tornado. Um uh percentages so it was five percent each five percent hail five percent tornado we do know hell comes with tornadoes so basically they just put five and five there was no six there was no seven it was five and five so five percent out of a hundred is low that's on a test you fail but yet it's hailing with five percent prediction so i don't know why they're not bumping that up to 50 60 70 percent Beats me, but then again, I don't make these charts, so. All right, what chart haven't I showed you? Anything you guys want to see really quick? Any charts I'm forgetting that we usually look at? Yeah, saw this hell. I mean, hell, I, I mean, in a way, they kind of act like, uh, I would say, meteors. I mean, they're bigger. You know, the higher you go up, the colder it is. So you can only imagine they're bigger up in the sky as they come down. And meet the warmer air, they get smaller and smaller. 
But um, yeah, sometimes we're getting those chunks that look like they're softballs, and I've been seeing more and more of it. I mean, yeah, having you know, internet, cell phones, everyone's got cell phones now. We're seeing it more. So I mean, it could have always been there, but we all know the weather's changing. There's no getting around that, guys. Yeah, Northwest Indiana, it's going to be getting cloudy, guys, because you got a big, big uh, rain system heading your way. So uh, um, I would prepare for that. I know the plains is a little bit uh, dug down a little bit, a little bit below sea level in some areas. And then as you get towards the Great Lakes, it's a little different. But I mean, with the amount of moisture this storm has produced already, guys, I, I just wouldn't take it lightly at all. I'm not taking it lightly. And I'm, you know, I'm two days out from this. You know, when we get rain, we get rain. Like I live in a valley. Luckily, I'm I'm in the upper side of the valley, so it floods um, down at the bottom. And then we see trucks with mattresses and stuff bringing up to uh, schools, so people have places to stay when it floods here. We've had two uh, significant major floods in the Susquehanna in the last 20 years, or probably 30 plus years. I know there was a big one in seven in the 70s. Another one in like 2002. And may have been one in between there, but the 70s one was the worst for the Susquehanna. Welcome, Atlanta. Thank you. Oh, Neath Wondercat. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Grass is always greener, the weather, boss. Come on, man. That's life. That's how life works, isn't it? Oh, Hillary, 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 JK. Oh, yeah, Tina, we were talking about that with the North and South Dakota and Minnesota. Some of those temperatures are just like, we had, I mean, Northeast PA, I think we, we had a wind chill of like negative 25 and I may have been outside for it, but it's just like, it's, it's unbearable. I mean, I, you can't live in those conditions unless you are just, you know, you have every possible survival mechanism, strong-willed mind, strong body. And then even then, it's like, how long can you last in that type of stuff? So, I mean, yeah, it's scary when you see that stuff enter the U.S. I mean, we're not used to it. We're always used to seeing it happen in other places in the world, but not us. It's always not us, never us, never us. But it's becoming us. It's it's concerning. Very concerning. Hillary is here. <laughs> Hillary can stay. I like Hillary. Because I know she's not the real Hillary, but... I don't get into politics. There's no point. It gets nowhere... Even though if you have a YouTube channel and you get into any sort of topic, they try to make you go into politics. Just avoid it. Just say no. Uh, there, I don't think the drought is over. Um, you, we got to realize it's been a season of a lot of rain. So one hot summer, guys, could really draw that water right back out of California. And we could look at another drought, but again, going back to that cycle idea, uh, this could be something we have to get used to. I mean, California is not built for water as opposed to Florida. Florida is built to handle water. It's porous. It drains away. It's always raining in Florida. It's not always raining in California. California is rock. Florida is sand. Yeah, I know. The news is, yeah, the news they want to keep you, you know, it's over. Yay. Let's throw a party. I'm not saying that they're wrong. I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. I don't have all the answers. Trust me. I, like I said, I'm, I'm a very big, I'm very big on data. I'm very big on looking at it and no jokes like we're doing right now. I will stare at these charts just like this one chart, every a loop for an hour straight just to get patterns uh, memorized in my head because everything you see on this chart right now is being influenced by something else. These are not moving on their own. 
there's the spin of the earth for those of you that believe the earth spins that um, apparently takes an effect on this. This system over here is affecting this system, even though it's two, 3,000 miles away. It's all about pressures. It's all about what side of the earth you're on. Southern hemisphere is clockwise. Northern hemisphere, counterclockwise. Again, they base that off the spin of the earth. So you could take that for what it's worth. Douglas, Wyoming, it says going snow. Can you give me an update? Uh, Wyoming, I mean... I haven't looked into specifics on uh, what you guys are going to see in the next couple of days uh, specifically, but um, just saying the state of Wyoming, um, I'm assuming, yes, you guys are going to see some snow. Uh, this might be your last one, might not be. I mean, you guys know, you guys could get, I mean, the Northeast gets hit with massive snowstorms at the end of April, and we've seen it before. So, you know, it's hard to say if this is going to be the end for Minnesota, doubtful, but I mean, basically, long story short, guys, it's officially spring, so we are moving that direction. I saw a fly in my house. A lot of people say that's the sign of spring, but then it was like 30 degrees last night, so that's not spring. How long is this video? 36 minutes? Oh, my God, guys. Well, for the 70, 80 of you that have been here, I really appreciate it. I did not expect that at all. Thank you, Nee the Wondercat. I, I appreciate it. I'm not. I'm not here to try to like bash the news in any way or bash mainstream media. I mean, yes, it's 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 a big topic on YouTube. It's a big thing. But like I said, I mean, I I just I use the the public available charts. Um, I have meteorologists in my family, so I have a a, a half decent background on how to under, understand this stuff. So I kind of just you know use this time to try to teach you guys how to read these charts and I'm learning as I go to still I'm, I'm two years into this particular channel I've had many channels in the past I have a 13 year old channel that I, I used to work with the guys uh, with jackass that I still have up so I've been on YouTube a long time uh, it's just you know you got to change with the times I've done my truth or thing I've, I've done all sorts of stuff on YouTube and you know you guys know how it goes Team Chaser one. Nice comment, buddy. Thank you, True Helper. Hey, True, how about uh, Leak Project landing that interview of Mr. Ike, huh? How crazy is that? I was surprised. I'm not going to lie. When I saw that, I was very happy for him. He deserves it. Big time. UV was through the roof. UV was through the roof, according to charts. Yeah, Chris, we were we were going over that a little bit. Uh, you know, work schedule, all sorts of stuff. That's why I'm I'm doing this actual live one right now, so you guys can hear my voice, ask me questions, talk to me, let you know I'm still alive and breathing. So. I know it, it's trust me, guys. I I lose sleep over it when I when I can't post a video. I I'll wake up and I'll I'll get like anxiety over it. That's like you know I I love this stuff. You know I wish it was it, it was my full time job. And you know in the future I would like to do that, but you know they they don't have pensions for YouTube. Um, you know you just you got to be realistic about it. It's a passion. I love doing it, so I'm gonna continue doing it as often as I can. Yeah, I've been talking for 39 minutes straight now, so good observation, Christopher, my friend. <clears throat> there you go. I'll clear my throat for you. I don't even have anything to drink up here. I was not prepared for this. All right, guys. Sorry about the long screen. Let's uh, wrap this up. Uh, I'm sure some of you want to go watch some uh, more interesting videos, but just wanted to do this and... Um, and talk to you guys and see how everything's going. Let you know we're here. Um, I will be posting. And very important, I want to don't uh, feel free. Uh, I have a YouTube channel, or uh, obviously I have two of them. Uh, um, Into Thin Air News is the backup channel. Just Into Thin Air News, one word. Uh, we got the Twitter channel that's at Into Thin Air. 
um, basic into thin air, not the two ends, like the email address. And then we got um, at into thin air news on Instagram. And then uh, Caroline is at type X files. That's the YouTube. And then we got um, at type X files on Instagram as well. So those are the contacts and they're in the description box too. So, all right, 40 minutes. All right. I've, that's way too long for me to be rambling to you guys. I'm surprised you haven't told me to stop. Take care, Dominice. I hope I'm saying that right with a C at the end. Good night, Darlene. Good to see you again. As always. Gracie May, thank you very much, too. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. All right, we're going to wrap this up. And uh, if you want to, we'll continue in the comments section. Take care, guys. Have a great night. Be safe. We'll be back tomorrow. Bye-bye.